You may or may not know about the turf management program here at Penn State, but you should. It just may be the most successful program the university has to offer. So let's find out what makes the program so special. Professor of Soil Science and Turf Grass Andy McNitt oversees the four-year program. He attributes much of the success to the great alumni network that Penn State has established. Well, that's one of the greatest things. We do have a, a, a huge network and we, we coach the students on that. I mean, there's several things that'll get a student a job in the turf industry. One is certainly where they get their degree and how well they do in school. But secondly is their experience. And we start building a network. Uh, first, their, their fellow students are their beginning network and then their professors. And then every time they go out on an internship, they continue to build a, a large network. And certainly Penn State has one of the largest networks uh, in the world as far as Penn State, as far as turf grass students go. To have a network that large, a seed has to be planted somewhere along the line. And for Penn State, that seed was planted a long time ago at one of America's premier golf courses. Penn State's one of the oldest and certainly the largest uh, educational turf program in the United States. It started in 1929. Interestingly enough, it was started by uh, uh, we call this the Joseph Valentine Turfgrass Research Center because uh, Joseph Valentine, who was the longtime superintendent at Marion Country Club, came up to talk to President Hetzel and convinced him to start a uh, turfgrass program here at Penn State. With the help of uh, some of the members at Marion, the uh, state legislature uh, committed $10,000 in 1929 to start our turfgrass program. Then in 1955, Penn State became the first institution to offer formal education to golf course superintendents. The rest is pretty much history, as Penn State has become a leader in the turf management world. We have a great relationship with the industry. Uh, the industry does fundraising for us uh, to help us do research, to help them solve problems. So we, not only do we help them solve technical problems, but we also offer them human resources and human capital. Uh, they, they help train our students through internships and we help supply those, uh, those golf courses and athletic field managers with qualified students and, and employees after they graduate. Maintaining that seller reputation in the industry requires some serious facilities. It's no surprise that Penn State's are some of the best and most versatile. Well, we're standing on the Joseph Valentine Research Center, which is uh, 27 acres. Uh, this is where we do the high-end turf grass management, like golf greens, fairways, high-end football fields. We also have the Landscape Management Research Center. At the Landscape Management Research Center is uh, where we do sort of lower maintenance turf. We also do environmental impact there with uh, things like pesticide and fertilizer runoff and leaching through the soils. And we also uh, work with PennDOT there and have a program where we look at roadside turf. When you have alumni superintendents host the Masters, U.S. Open, and PGA Championship, you're bound to receive some accolades. But Penn State has plenty of success when it comes to athletic fields as well. We were fortunate to, uh, to have a Penn State alumni, Bill Deacon, host the uh, Major League Baseball All-Star Game at City Field for the Mets. Currently, we have five head groundskeepers in the NFL and many, many assistants uh, and similar kind of numbers in, in Major League Baseball and certainly in, in golf. Uh, we have a long established record of, of having uh, many superintendents across the country. If Penn State wants to continue to be a trailblazer, it will have to find a way to get students to the classroom. Not a problem here in Happy Valley, as they are already looking towards the future. The world has changed. People are out working, they're coming back to school as a, as a returning adult. Maybe they've got a, a, uh, a, a basic degree from somewhere else. And so what we're trying to do is offer them essentially a smorgasbord of opportunities. We have um, three certificate programs, two online, a basic certificate and an advanced certificate that you can get completely online. We also have our resident two-year golf turf management program, which is the sort of the gold standard. It was the one that got Penn State started in 1955. We also then have a two-year associate degree. We have a four-year degree, both of which you can get residently or online. And we even have a master's of professional studies that you can get online. That's as great a story as there is right now. 100% job placement and three different options for coursework. Can it get any better for a student? For the center of it all, I'm Andrew Callista.